if I can meet her, I think something is calling upon her. Guys, Your this is that. If possible, I'll be happy. Please send a message to to Tim Ahma Singh. <laughs> Do you only have one child? Oh. Alive. Alive. Okay, Cindy, in closing, I want you to say your message to Tembi in there because I know it will reach her. By the time it goes live, it's going to reach her. You're also going to leave your number here. We're also going to leave your account number here. Um, yeah. Please tell Yeah, but I'm done. Yay! I'm done. It's just a big thing. I'm going to have a big thing. Because I'm going to go and get a market and get a bush. Gas is low corner, fell. I'm going to have Bengas would sing in Zaganjan, Gilly Lak, Gitolu with his langan. Scats his feel. Kulleg and number Kullegabanig. He loses a guilt, a lag web than it was a magum than it. No, it was a guys. Um, thank you so much. It's Hello guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Salo. Please don't forget to subscribe, comment, like, and of course, do make sure that you share this video. Guys, Cindy Majola is trending on all social media platforms after a video of her intoxicated and roaming the streets of Hillbro Johannesburg has been shared on TikTok, which got a lot of views on the platform. You guys, now people were shocked to see Cindy in such a state because she was once an eight girl who dated the late legendary singer. Brenda Fuzzy. Not only that, you guys, she acted in TV shows, a lot of TV shows such as Zone 14, Aradham City, Gazilam, and of course, the list is endless. People have been trying to reach out to Cindy Majola to try and at least help her because it seems like she needs help of some sort, as in yesterday, as she is currently struggling with alcohol abuse. You guys, now people, she was Cindy Majosi went to promise makunyani's podcast on youtube where she revealed that um she needs help with her son who is 30 years old she reveals that her son is suffering from a mental illness which puts her life in a danger now she reveals that the son unchabulo acts erratic when he has one of his mental episodes and he ends up hurting her in the process you guys now she reveals that yes she is struggling but she is not struggling with alcohol abuse like everyone says she reveals that she is suffering with her son's medical condition who suffers from schizophrenia you guys um her son's illness is the main cause in her life being um messed up she revolts she also reveals that she is always out in the streets of Hellbro because it is too much for her. Her son's medical condition is weighing too much on her. You guys, now lastly, she reveals, Usindi reveals that a lot of things are happening in her life are spiritual, that a lot of things that are happening in her life currently are spiritual, which is why her life is the way that it is. Now she also reveals to um or promise and says that she would love to meet usis tembi who is a spiritual medium from a show called lozilami to at least assist her she believes that sis tembi will help her in whatever it is that is going through in her life currently she pleads with usis tembi to please reach out to her and assist her because she feel like she is chained from a lot of troubles and she says that Usis Tebi can help her. Her spirits 
need or system be to free her from um all the chains that she is currently chained in you guys well there you have it guys what are your thoughts please do engage them with me in the comment section and of course to make sure that you're subscribed if you haven't yet done so and also make sure that you share this video so that you do not miss out whenever i try to upload a new video thank you so much for actually clicking and deciding on watching this one i'll see you in the next video bye